Hi, I'm Carson Day from Dave Smith Instruments with the new Tempest tutorial covering file management and methods for backing up your sound, beat, and project files to your computer. For today's tutorial, you'll need your Tempest, a USB cable or MIDI interface, and your computer. Much like your computer, the Tempest has both RAM and flash memory. RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory, is volatile and will not be preserved when the Tempest is power cycled or a new project is loaded. Flash is non-volatile and will be preserved when the Tempest is power cycled. Let's take a look at how the Tempest uses both these memory spaces. When the Tempest powers up, a project will be loaded from flash memory. Project is composed of 16 beats, with each beat having up to 32 sounds. When a change is made to a sound or beat, the settings are temporarily saved to RAM memory. If you were to power cycle the Tempest or load a new project, the changes held in RAM would not be saved. To save any changes currently held in RAM memory, you must save them to flash using the Save Load menu. Press the Save Load button to enter the menu. Navigate to the Save Project menu item and select it using the leftmost soft button beneath the OLED display. Set the preferred folder you wish to save the project to. If you want to save a new project file, rename the file with a unique name or version number. Press the leftmost soft button to save the project file. If the project name matches an existing saved file in the destination folder, a warning will be shown on screen that you are about to overwrite an existing file. You can cancel the operation if you do not want to overwrite a file. It's good to note that when a project file is saved, any changes made to the project sounds or beats are only saved to the project file itself. If you wish to load these sounds or beats into a different project file, they will need to be saved individually using the Save Sound or Save Beat menu item in the Save Load menu. Next, let's take a look at how to back up the project we just saved to our computer. You should be familiar with how to connect your Tempest to your computer for Sysix file transmissions. If not, take a look at our first tutorial video titled Updating Your Tempest OS for Detailed Instructions. If you're using a MIDI interface to connect to the Tempest, make sure to set the Tempest MIDI Sysix in-out cable system parameter to MIDI. We will be using Sysix Librarian to back up our file. Open Sysix Librarian and press the Record Many button in the upper right-hand portion of the window. The application is now ready to receive the transmission sent from the Tempest. To send the file from the Tempest, press the Save Load button and navigate to the Export File over MIDI menu item. Select it and use the soft knobs to navigate to the project you wish to send. Press the leftmost soft button to advance to the next screen. Now set whether to send to MIDI or USB. Press the leftmost soft button to export the project. Sysix Librarian will show the progress of the file's reception from the Tempest. Once complete, press Done. Select the file and give it a unique name. The file will be saved in the Sysix Librarian folder in your Documents folder. Open MIDI OX and select the MIDI Devices menu item from the Options pull-down menu. In the upper left-hand quadrant of the opened window, select the Tempest if using USB or your MIDI interface's MIDI input port. Press OK to save the settings. Now select the Sysix menu item from the View pull-down menu. In the opened window, select the Receive Manual Dump menu item from the Sysix pull-down menu. MIDI OX is now ready to receive the transmission from the Tempest. To send the file from the Tempest, press the Save Load button and navigate to the Export File over MIDI menu item. Select it and use the soft knobs to navigate to the project you wish to send. Press the leftmost soft button to advance to the next screen. Now set whether to send to MIDI or USB. Press the leftmost soft button to export the project. MIDI OX will show the progress of the file's transmission from the Tempest. Once complete, press the Done button. You can save the file using the Save As menu item from the Display Window pull-down menu. The process to send a sound, beat, or project file to the Tempest is the same as when sending an OS update file to it. You can reference our first tutorial video, Updating Your Tempest OS, for detailed instructions on the setup for sending files to the Tempest. Once the file is loaded to flash memory, you will need to manually load it to RAM for it to be heard. Press the Save Load button and navigate to the Load File menu item. Select it and navigate to the project you wish to load. Press the leftmost soft button twice to load the project. We've just gone over the process to save, backup, retransmit, and load files to and from the Tempest flash memory space. You can also send and receive files from the RAM memory space. Backing up files from RAM allows you to save incremental changes made to sounds, beats, or projects without saving them to flash memory first. To send a file from RAM, first select the sound or beat by pressing its pad. Press the Save Load button and use one of the three export menu items to send the sound, beat, or project over MIDI. Set whether to send the file using USB or the physical MIDI port. Hit the leftmost soft button to send the file. 
When a file is exported from RAM and reloaded to the Tempest, it will load to the currently loaded project and to the beat pad or sound pad from where it was exported. You should now feel comfortable with the process to save, load, and backup files from your Tempest. You can find more specifics in the Tempest operation manual. Thanks for supporting DSI, and we'll see you soon.